Okay, and I'm back. Um, so anyway, as I was explaining, these uh, dots here, you have to connect those to the bar of the body that you want it to move with. And uh, to do that while that part is on the body, to me, seems impossible. Uh, if anybody is more familiar with these things, by all means, let me know. I would really appreciate that. I'm just kind of uh, learning as I go along here. Trying to, anyway. Uh, I thought that I had just attached that. Did I not? Oh, yeah. I wasn't far enough up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose that's correct. Yeah, here it looks kind of like I got some from another row. Huh. Okay. So you see it moves kind of like around the object and uh, it's, it's very strange. It's like I'm trying to line these dots up so that I know the dots are in a row. But that's very difficult to do. Very difficult to do. I move slightly one way and it's totally out of screen in the opposite way that you might think it would be. That's that's the best part. Did I even highlight the bone yet? Heck no. Uh, it's because I was checking this. Making sure that's right. Which it's about as right as it's going to get, I guess. This needs to at least be from here on. I do believe. Okay. Now, I highlight this whole thing. And uh, I've got the sub view open so that I can see what this looks like as I'm bringing it over to it. What the sub view does is it opens up another uh, window to the side there that you can uh, see without all these fancy things obstructing your view. It just shows what's going on to the model.
Okay. Well, this is kind of odd. It seems kind of like I need to move it slightly back. Uh, that's strange and unusual. Huh. Oh, where is something? It's not off one way, it's off the other way. For some reason I had far less trouble with the other sleeve. Uh, not that I didn't have trouble, just far less trouble than this sleeve seems to be giving me. I'm not sure why this is. When did I finally get it? I think I might have finally done it. It looks like it's mostly on. It's definitely not perfect, but uh, it's on. It's actually maybe slightly better than the other sleeve now. <laughs> Okay, so I think all I got left to do now is test that out and see if it actually held.
Okay, here we are with the MMD software. Let's load some random motion. And her arms are going to poke out of the sleeves. I expect that. My main objective was just to get the sleeves to attach and not just be left behind or not rip her arms off. Something, yeah. Something horribly messed up like that. It seems that it's uh, mostly working. Her uh, arms poking through the sleeves and the way her wrist uh, and hand uh, come down and uh, go through the sleeves, uh, I believe that's due to the physics. So that's going to be the next thing that I try to adjust is the physics around her arms and how uh, it pushes the sleeves out. Hopefully uh, that fixes that problem. Because if not, and if, or if I can't figure out how to do that, she's going to have some issues with her sleeves. <laughs> yeah, those sleeves look like they're cut up. <laughs> the way it looks right now. Particularly right there around the elbow. Now I wonder. It just occurred to me. I wonder if that's because her arms poking through it, or did they get left behind? Well, wait a minute. If they got left behind, they should be somewhere directly in front of her. It's rather difficult to see. But I don't think that's the case. I think the sleeves are just going through her. <laughs> or rather, she's going through the sleeves. However you want to look at it. But, I mean, that was my main objective uh, for the day right there, I believe. Just simply getting that sleeve to go on and not get left behind uh, but yeah as I said if anybody else is uh, actually familiar with this and is willing to give me some pointers on how to make that job a whole lot easier I would sure appreciate that because uh, I've spent uh, an embarrassing amount of time just figuring out the amount of uh, you know, things that I have figured out it's been uh, quite time consuming and uh, the tutorials, now I'm not oblivious to the fact that there are tutorials out there, uh, but a great many of them are very difficult to follow, they're not very coherent, uh, they don't really go step by step a lot of times, uh, they leave things out, or they're just hard to understand. Not trying to bash them, just saying, finding good, coherent, step by step, process uh, tutorials uh, on anything these days really but uh, particularly this is quite difficult to find uh, it can definitely be a challenge I have come across a couple of tutorials that have helped me uh, to figure out uh, a few things on this like uh, attaching the sleeves in the first place I would have never figured that out <laughs> If uh, I didn't find a tutorial that finally uh, told me how to use the weight program. Uh, anyway, I think that's 
probably uh, where I'm going to stop that right there. Yeah, I can't think of anything else that I could do that would uh, not be really time consuming. So I guess that's it for now. Good night. <laughs>